Hello from our unfinished master bedroom. Hello. So many of you asked, what about your master bedroom? Yeah, it seems like it's never going to be finished. Yeah, the thing is, our joiner, he is like so popular and we had to wait for months. But finally he will start to put in a bespoke wardrobe tomorrow. Yeah, I hope so. We can't wait, honestly. This is the reason why you haven't finished wallpapering. No. And, yeah, it's fine though. It's fine. You know why? I think it gave us a bit of time to save up some more money. Yes, because yeah, <laughs> the cupboard is really, really costly. It is. This is where Jörg and I spend our day because the room <laughs> wasn't like like this before. No, we had to tidy it up. It was a mess. Yeah. And this is where the wardrobe will be. Yeah. And it will be yeah. ceiling high. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> and once that one is in, yeah. we will look for a for an antique chest of drawers. Yeah. Should be. Yeah. yeah. Because we saw the IKEA one. Yeah. And then I can finish the wallpaper. You know what's really strange? What I always notice, the wallpaper on camera looks different. It, in reality, it looks so beautiful, but it looks a bit strange on camera. But um, yeah, we also ordered a a custom-made blind, yeah. and then we will look for. <laughs> We will look for a... No, we, look, we are currently looking for curtains. And because we were so busy with this room, we don't really have time to cook. No. Or, well, not time. We just, we don't want to make time. No, we don't want to spend hours in the kitchen. No, because there's one thing we still need to do. We have to cover the runner. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we just, we have to protect it. And then we'll see. Now let's go downstairs and prepare food. Yeah, because as you know, I'm always, always hungry. It's so hard to film this wallpaper, but it does look nice. It looks very beautiful. It's Colfax and Fowler, and Colfax and Fowler makes the most beautiful wallpaper and fabric. When you have little time, or don't even want to stand in the kitchen for a very long time, this is something nice. Yeah, it's a simple, simple recipe now. Yes, and on top of it, it's German. Yes. It's very German. Yeah. And yeah, we have a little Oktoberfest here. Yes. Yeah, and right. yeah, this is what you need. So we're making Weisswürste with carrot salad. Yes. And very easy. Pretzel. Yeah, pretzel, of course. Last week we went shopping to Little. Mm -hmm. And when we browsed through the island, we found some mice there. Yes. Yes. Usually at the end of September, little, and they offer mice and German products. Yes. Uh, because of the Oktoberfest. They call it, the, the products uh, are called Alpenfest? Yes, it's, but it's you know, Bavarian flags on it. And, yeah. yeah yes. So you can easily spot them. Yes. So that's really good. And yeah, of course. This is the main thing you yes, need. Because, and I couldn't resist. No, I think I think the last time we had vice versa, it's like two years ago. Yes. So yeah, why not? So this is what you need for the carrot salad. Yeah, some carrots. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And you will need a lemon, yeah. some water, honey. Mm hmm Yeah. Vinegar. Yeah. Some oil. Yeah. And salt. salt. And to make it very easy, we're using our multi crater. So this takes you 10 minutes and your salad is done. Should we, should we boil the water first in the meantime? What do you think? I think we should. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. And as always, you will find the recipe down below in the info box. But it's so easy, you, you will be surprised. Even I can do it. <laughs> now, 
that our currants are done, which took a couple of minutes. Yeah, you just drizzle <laughs> some of a lemon. Yeah, Hers. about about half of a lemon. And then also just some honey. So now we're preparing a simple vinaigrette. So some water. Yeah. Then a little bit of cider vinegar. Yeah, or vinegar. Simple vinegar. Or simple vinegar. Yeah, you could also Both. use balsamico. Yeah. Depends on what you like. And what you have at home. Yeah. This is what we have at home and yeah, it's perfect. Just a little bit <laughs> and a little bit of oil. And this is some lemon oil, yes. which is very nice. My mother gave it to me. Yeah, that's lovely. And a little bit of salt. And that's basically your carrot salad. Now I'm simply adding the dressing to the salad. And we just said, we think it would be even nicer with some fresh herbs. Which we don't have. And now just mix it. Yeah. And then just leave it to soak on, soak in. Yeah. About 20 minutes or so. Then it should be, should be good. There are so many different carrot salad recipes out there. Yeah. It's crazy. What you could also use is, like, instead of honey, you yeah. could use apple. Yeah, to that's, give it a bit of sweetness. Yeah, that's really, really good as well. Yeah. My my mom does that. And we just wanted to try it with honey this time. But yeah. I, I really love apple in it as well. And now, you should share how we make the vice versa. Yeah. Because that's so easy. As you've already seen, vice versa, we sometimes say vice versa, <laughs> what, uh, what, uh, how, how do you call them, like, in your dialect? Weisswurst. Weisswurst. Yeah, they are sausages. Yeah. But they're not prepared as usual sausages. Right? Mm -hmm. You boil them instead of putting them into a pan. Yes, yeah. Yeah, we show you how it's done. It's very easy to cook or to boil Weisswurst. Mm -hmm. You simply bring water to the boil. Yeah. Then turn off the heat. Mm-hmm. And then add the sausages to the water yeah. and then just leave them in the water for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Yes. Don't turn on the heat again. No. They don't need to, let's say the water doesn't have to boil again. No, it shouldn't. It yeah? shouldn't. Yeah. And now just leave them. Yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have white and blue napkins. Just regular napkins, but we wanted to show you this is mustard in German, Süßsaurer Senf. Yes, it's a special kind which you can only buy in Bavaria. Yeah, and that comes with the Weisswurst and Lidl, so it's in the packaging itself and it's so good. This is what makes the Weisswurst special. Yes, and it's a very yes, special. sweet mustard. It's really, really good. And for Jörg, we have some Laugenbrezel that you can also get at Little. Now, while Kirsten likes to drink lemonade to Weisswurst, I like to drink some proper beer to Weisswurst. Yeah, Tegern sehr speziell. Yeah, Tegern sehr speziell. So that's a Bavarian beer. Yes. And... Yes, and trust to drink it in style. <sighs> this is a very special thing. Yeah. Krug in German. Is it Krug? Yes. Yeah. And that's very old. It's from the day when Jörg was still in the army. So it's like, I think, how old is it? 33 years old? 30 no, years no, old? No, no, no. it's 25 probably. Yeah. So very old. Yeah. But, yeah, that looks good. Yes, and it looks I love it. And it has my name on it. Well. Vicky. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's my nickname. And the other one is the Stürtbeer. Yeah. This one. Which is from the north of Germany. Mm-hmm. How did you like that one? It was good. It was a dark beer. 
And yeah, well, that yeah. one was very dark, wasn't yeah. it? It's mm -hmm. very tasty. Yeah. I want you to try the other one with the sausages. I can't yes. wait. I hope you like it. No, it will be delicious. Yes. This is Schwaben. Schwaben. That's from Stuttgart. Mm -hmm. Which was really good. I I love the bottle. Yeah. That's really cute. And the sausages are done. We actually have rain now. It feels quite autumnal. Looks good. Now I'm going to show you how to eat them. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is you have to get rid of the skin. Yeah. Because you usually don't eat the skin. No, no, you don't eat the skin. And there are several ways to do it. Yes, but I'll just do it in that. Yeah, this is how we do it. And simply remove the skin. Yeah, peel it off. And then you can eat it and enjoy it. A bit of salad, which is very light, of course. I I can't eat the sausages without the mustard. This is, for me, is the perfect combination. Yeah, and of course, Jörg has a pretzel with it. And how's the beer? Give it a try. Paused. Oh, it's very good. It's really good. So out of the three we showed, which one would be your favorite? I don't know, it depends. But this one, the Tiganzia, what was the name? Tiganzia Fitzia. Is that the perfect one with a vice wash? The perfect one to vice wash or to sausages mm -hmm. or to a really good Bavarian beer. That's good. Yuck and I will enjoy our dinner now and we'll see you again with another interior update. Well, some days later, we finally made some progress here in the master bedroom. Our joiner was here, fitted the wardrobe. It's not yet finished, but I think it's always a good idea to share the results so far. This is the result so far. As you can see, there are some doorknobs missing and this is the color New Wide from Ferran Ball. And yeah, it looks great. It's really deep, as you can see, which is what we wanted. And you can easily hang your dresses, coats, jackets, really deep. And we went for brass rails. So we have the same on this side and what's currently missing is a drawer on each side and here we have some shelves so we have plenty of space which is great, same here. Plenty of space to store stuff. Yeah, we're really happy with it because it gives us more space to store our clothes. So that's really good. And we think it looks quite nice as well. We are really happy that we went ceiling high. It just gives you plenty of space, doesn't it? Obviously, the rest of the room will have sockets and switches and antique bras, just like this one. It just looks so wonderful against an old-style wallpaper or a beautiful paint, we think. And also here, we went for the antique brass knobs because they just look great everywhere. We have the same ones here in the landing and, of course, in our attic room. It just looks great. Yeah, that's the fitted wardrobe and now we can continue finishing this room during autumn. And other than that, we are waiting for our blind that we ordered last week, I think. And we went for this gorgeous fabric. It's a linen fabric from Sanderson. It's wonderful. This is a little bit, uh, I would say, more simple. And I was actually chatting to someone from Colfax and Fowler regarding curtains. And I've always been a huge fan for so many years. 
Yeah, and she suggested some fabrics and we are still not sure which one. So I'm still waiting for samples. We're also looking into Morris fabrics or more fabrics from Sanderson. And we narrowed it down. We haven't decided yet, but one of the fabrics from Colfax and Fowler is this one. And it looks stunning. And, and we also ordered some samples, trimming samples, and there are some amazing ones out there. I've got to say, our favourite ones are from Samuel and Sons. Like this one is stunning, absolutely stunning. So this is the blind fabric from Sanderson. This is the name, Sanderson Palm Grove Pinery Linen. Wonderful quality, we really love it. And it will take some time until we get the blind. This is the beautiful fabric from Corfax and Fowler. And this is the name, Perdita Navy. So this looks really beautiful. So far, this is our favorite trimming. It looks amazing under mine. This is the same trimming, just in a different colour combination. Both are stunning. And we got some more Samuel and Sons trimmings. They are both beautiful, but we won't be going for these ones. And that's basically it regarding home renovation update and choice of fabrics. We will do more, I think in the colder months because you yeah, it's so busy right now and yeah we can always proceed when it gets colder that's why it takes longer but we don't mind it's totally fine and yeah we hope you like this video and we'll see you again next week and until next time take care bye